The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show will return after these messages. And now, back to the Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. The Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show will return after these messages. And now, back to the Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show. And now, these messages. Monday, it's Flash Spiegel with Snoopy's secret life. Will Charlie Brown lose his pooch to life in the fast lane? Then it's a comedy egg extravaganza, the all-new Daffy Duck's Easter show. Washington's cheery cherry blossoms. They're the surest signs that springtime and the tourist season have arrived in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. We'll be back with a look at Washington's cherry trees in the news. In the news is sponsored by... And now, cherry blossoms in the news. Signs of spring are always welcome after a long, hard winter, and the most obvious signs of spring in Washington, D.C. are the cherry blossoms and the half million tourists who come to the nation's capital each spring to see this display of natural beauty. In April, Washington celebrates spring with the National Cherry Blossom Festival. The trees don't always bloom in time for the festival, but this year they were right on schedule. 5,000 cherry trees adorn Washington's parks. About 650 of them surround the Tidal Basin near the Jefferson Memorial. Another 700 have been planted around the Washington Monument. The cherry trees were a gift from Japan. In the early 1900s, this part of Washington was a swamp. After it was dredged out and dried up, the wife of President William Howard Taft suggested planting Japanese cherry trees in the area. And in 1912, the mayor of Tokyo, Japan's capital, had 3,000 trees sent to the United States as a gesture of friendship. The favor was returned 40 years later. Tokyo's cherry trees were in bad shape after World War II, in which the U.S. and Japan were enemies. In 1952, as a sign of renewed friendship, cuttings from Washington were sent to help revive the cherry trees in Tokyo. I'm Christopher Glenn with Cherry Blossom Time in Washington, D.C., in the news. This is CBS. Care Bears and the Freeze Machine, tonight at 7.30. Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. Saturday's Supercade will return after these messages. Yo. Saturday's Supercade will return. Look. Stay tuned for the thrilling Dungeons and Dragons. Look out! Right after Saturday's Supercade. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> this is CBS. In a world where television has brought people closer together, we have a responsibility to each other. I'm Peter Lund of WCBS-TV. We in the business community have the resources and the experience to lend a hand to our public schools. We can offer encouragement and let students know how much we value their contribution. Channel 2 is proud to have formed a partnership in education with Seward Park High School. We urge you to join us in celebrating Adopt-A-School Month because a good education is everyone's business. Care Bears and the Freeze Machine, tonight at 7.30. And now, back to Saturday's Super Cave. Saturday's Super Cave will return after these messages. And now, back to Saturday's Super Cave. Saturday's Super Cave will return after these messages. Monday, it's Flash Spiegel with Snoopy's Secret Life. Will Charlie Brown lose his pooch to life in the fast lane? Then it's a comedy egg extravaganza, the all-new Daffy Duck's Easter show.
now, back to Saturday Super Cage. This is CBS. Professor Coldheart's back with another nasty plan for freezing feelings. With his evil freeze machine, he's got the whole town on ice. Only those colorful Care Bears from Carolot can stop Professor Coldheart and melt everyone's heart. But is it too late? Has Professor Coldheart finally frozen love and caring? Join Baby Hugs and Baby Tugs and all the Care Bears in The Care Bears Battle the Freeze Machine. How to Save on Designer Clothes, Sunday at 11. And now, back to Dungeons and Dragons. In the news, a battleship with historic significance. In 1945, aboard the battleship Missouri, Japan surrendered to end World War II. We'll be back with misgivings over a new move for the Missouri. In the news. Sponsored by the many fine products of General Foods. And now, the Battleship Missouri in the news. Of all the actions the Battleship Missouri was in, the most memorable was a quiet ceremony. On September 2nd, 1945, General Douglas MacArthur accepted the surrender of Japan's representatives on the deck of the USS Missouri, marking the formal end of World War II. The Missouri, known as Big Mo, had participated in battle operations off Iwo Jima and returned to action in the Pacific during the Korean War. Nearly 30 years ago, Big Mo was retired to a berth at Bremerton, Washington. The battleship, sealed to minimize deterioration, has become a tourist attraction at a naval base at Bremerton, across Puget Sound from Seattle. More than 200,000 people visit the Missouri each year, and Bremerton has come to depend on the money tourists spend in the area. But now the Navy is planning to take the Missouri out of retirement and send it back to sea to join its sister battleship, the New Jersey. Re-outfitting old World War II battleships is far less expensive than building new warships. In exchange for the Missouri, the Navy may give Bremerton a smaller warship, and there's talk of building a waterfront development around it. But the local historical society complains that no ship could take the place of Big Mo. It's scheduled to begin preparations for sea service in about four months. I'm Christopher Glenn with the Battleship Missouri in the news. This is CBS. Professor Coldheart's back with another nasty plan for freezing feelings. With his evil freeze machine, he's got the whole town on ice. Only those colorful Care Bears from Carolot can stop Professor Coldheart and melt everyone's heart. But is it too late? Has Professor Coldheart finally frozen love and caring? Join Baby Hugs and Baby Tugs and all the Care Bears in The Care Bears Battle the Freeze Machine. Wheel of Fortune, weeknights at 7... Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, will return after these messages. <laughs> 